Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, uh, I'm going to carry on with my beginners theme of or series of uh, videos, and this one's kind of in inspired by Chuck over on Spring Piston Rifle Fever. Highly recommend you guys check him out. Uh, absolutely blinding guy, really is, and he knows his stuff and he knows what. He is talking about and I find myself agreeing with him a lot I I think uh, he's on to the right ideas on everything I highly recommend his channel anyway what I wanted to talk about is power and this is something I noticed uh, Chuck say on his channel that someone was saying uh, about 14 foot pans not being enough uh, muzzle energy to dispatch a quarry um, hunting with and I agree absolutely completely with Chuck what, a, what an absolute load of nonsense that is it really really is in the UK unfortunately we're limited unless you have a firearm certificate to 12 foot pans energy and I can assure anyone who watches this video that is more than enough to dispatch UK legal quarry. Uh, as always, there are caveats um, to everything. And by that I mean you could have a 100 foot pound rifle and shoot a rabbit or a squirrel in its big toe and you're not going to kill it cleanly. Um, Power is absolutely nothing without accuracy. It's all to do with shot placement. Uh, I, I would prefer to hunt with a seven foot pound rifle, which I know I can shoot consistently quarter to half inch groups and limit my ranges to 20 yards or so. And that's more than adequate because I know, provided I'm shooting within that range, there's plenty enough power to ensure a clean dispatch on any UK legal quarry. I, I think people, in fairness, uh, it seems to mainly be uh, US shooters, and there's no disrespect to them whatsoever, but they seem assessed in like um, their rifles have to be like 900 feet per second in T2 and all that. And then what I believe is happening, they're getting these Magnum Springers, and it always seems to be the Springers they have issues with, and uh, they can't hunt with them. And it, it's because they, they're using too much power. They I'd hate to think on a Magnum Springer, especially the cheaper ones, what that is doing to the internals of a scope, what it's actually doing to their hold uh, to get consistent results. If they can't get consistent results, it doesn't matter, like I said, it doesn't matter uh, what power level their rifles shoot, and if you can't hit what you're firing at. So, I fully intended to get out on the range and show you guys something. Um, I've got the crony set up, but it's absolutely blowing a hoolie and pouring down rain outside. And I wanted to demonstrate uh, what power is actually needed to hunt with. Now, I'm going to stick my neck on the line here and say that four foot pounds of muzzle energy will produce a clean pass through of any uh, UK legal quarry and when I mean that I don't mean four foot at the muzzle and you shooting 50 yards down range for four foot pounds because no that ain't gonna work I don't care how good your atlas is I'm talking about literally four foot pounds energy arriving at that energy at the target as such and this is the other thing that I wanted to address as well, the elephant in the room. It doesn't matter if it's 
177TT25T0 um, provided you're getting the correct shot placement it's an absolute moot point what you hit your quarry with uh, whether it's 17 to 25 and all the calibers in between it's all to do with shot placement and arriving at the target with I will say four foot pounds and where I get the four foot pounds from is that I do obviously lots of pest control on the farm some of the stuff is uh, live trapping so rabbits and squirrels and rats are caught in live, tra uh, live catch traps uh, cage traps and then they have to de be uh, obviously dispatched humanely and for that I'm not going to take a 12 foot pound rifle and shoot them it's done with a four and a half foot pound pistol and I can assure you shooting at I don't know probably about two foot away that pellet will pass cleanly through a rabbit and a squirrel and a, a, a rat's head it will dispatch them cleanly so do, do you really need like be shooting stuff with um, 16 foot pound rifles, 20 foot pound rifles, 30 foot pound rifles I'm talking about purely for the UK here I understand in the States they shoot considerably larger quarry of their air guns than what we do in the UK uh, so I understand where they're coming from there I've never shot um, a groundhog in my life I've never shot a possum in my life so I can't say what sort of energy is required for shooting them particular animals but for squirrels and rabbits uh, if, your, if your rifle is running around about 10 11 foot pounds I can show you down range at 40 yards provided you can hit that animal in the head it's lights out just like that it, and you'll get a pass through depending on what ammunition you use and if you're using the usual Diablo pellet I, 9 times out of 10 I'd say 99 times out of 100 if you hit the bunny or squirrel in the head you're going to get a pass through so what I'd suggest to, is rather than worry about the power your rifle's putting out I'd worry more about being able to shoot it consistently and accurately and your shot placement and that's what it all boils down to shot placement if your shot placement is no good it doesn't matter how powerful the rifle is if you're doing stupid things which I particularly a pet hate of mine is when I see on YouTube people doing Texas heart shots and stuff like that I question your suitability for even uh, using an air rifle and dispatch and stuff I think it's it's inhumane and by that yes I mean the pellet may travel up and travel in entire length of the animal what you've shot that way but pellets can de be deflected by the smallest little branch I'm sure we've all seen this seen even pellets deflected by blades of grass and so on so you go for a Texas heart shot and that flicks off the pelvis of the animal and then exit through the lower back you've condemned that animal to an agonized and slow death and that is totally irresponsible and it is just my personal opinion you may not agree with it but it's up to you um, it, your, your decision but you, you should really be asking yourself should you be taking them kind of shots I personally wouldn't like I say I think it's cruel and inhumane and doesn't doesn't have a place in a hunter's arsenal to do that and for the um, uh, guys who will knock that, I'd ask you this, if you were using a centre fire rifle and you had a deer facing you from rear on, so it's facing away from you, would you honestly, hand on your heart, tell me you would use a centre fire and go 
and you go for a Texas heart shot on that. So why would you, a rabbit or a squirrel or a rat, but they're all animals, they're all, they're all beings. It's our responsibility to ensure a clean dispatch. Uh, so yeah, this one for like, especially the UK guys who are getting out into shooting, like I say, limit your, limit your shots to like 30 yards and under or whatever you can group a quarter to a half inch uh, consistently and the power point becomes literally a moot point because uh, it will get lights out if you shoot them in the head. And with that one guys I had my little rant and I hope you enjoy this little video. I've got loads of other ideas in the pipeline. Today I wanted to get out and shoot the different guns over the chronograph from 5 yards and take it right out to 65 yards and show you the different pellets and different calibers, their energy retention at different ranges. That is definitely something I'm going to do and also at the same time not only shooting with the chronograph, I want to show you the different drop at those distances with the different calibers. But that will be a future video unless someone poaches it off me already. Um, but with that guys, have a great day and thanks for your continued support and I'll catch you later.